Hey guys, today I'm going to be replacing the brake pads on my electric 2.0 XP. I uh, figured I'd bring you along for the ride and show you how it's done. So let's go ahead and jump right in. In order to replace the brake pads, you're going to need a 5mm hex wrench, set and needle nose pliers, and brake pads. So, first thing we're going to do is loosen the bolt on the cable here. To relieve pressure. Uh, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take out this top and bottom bolt. Loosen that one up a little more. You don't need to take this one out, just loosen it up enough so that it slides around on the cable. Uh, next thing we're going to do, we've got this cotter pin here. You can see it's folded over, so we're going to take our needle nose pliers, just bend that straight. Go ahead and pull that through. So with the, the cotter pin out, uh, we can take the brake pads and the spring, just push them out through the top. And there you go, we've got our old brake pads and spring. Grab our new ones here. So we've got our brake pad. We're just going to slide the spring over the top. Align the other one in the spring. And then we'll reverse the process was we'll push them up through the bottom of the caliper. Then we can take our cotter pin, line everything up, slide it through. Once it's through, take the cotter pin and there's there's the long leg and the short leg, so we're just gonna Fold the long leg back over. Make sure they're locked in. Uh, this screw here, this controls the distance of the pad, the back pad to the rotor. Cause when you, when you pull on these mechanical brakes, all it's gonna do is push the front one in. So I'm gonna loosen this up four or five clicks. Um, And then a trick I've been using to get them centered is uh, I got three pieces of construction paper here. I'm gonna stick them in on the, the back brake pad. Well, let me first see, let me make sure I don't need to loosen it up more. Slides over. I'll take my click that out a couple more. Uh, so I'm going to use these as shims, this construction paper here. I put those on the back pad and I'm going to put the rotor between the front pad, the construction paper, and then the back pad. Uh, 
Uh, make sure to get your cable. Uh, make sure to slide that back in to the barrel adjuster. Okay. So I'm just going to loosely put these bolts back in. a little bit of place I decide for right now <coughs> excuse me uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, the brake caliper arm here just slide it back up the cable so I'm pulling down on the cable I'm just looking for where it was pinched earlier and I'm gonna tighten that back down Is that my cow? Oh, I see it's so what had happened is I don't know if you can see these these two legs on the outside that they, they were hitting the, the center leg so I'll line that up What I'm going to do, move up to the front of the bike and I'm going to squeeze the brake handles and just lock those down with a piece of rope. What that's going to do for me, that's going to center the brake pads and the caliper onto the rotor. I find this the easiest way to get them aligned. We're locked on there. Go ahead and reach in from the back here. Tighten that down one click. Can I get out of there? And then with the brake lever squeezed, I'm going to tighten these bolts down. Brake lever, uh, squeezing that down, that's saved me a lot of time. I see people fiddling around, uh, trying to adjust it, spinning the wheel, seeing if it drags, and just repeating that forever. But I found that just pulling it as tight as it'll go and locking it down, it does the, the hard part of centering the caliper for me. the brake lever. And I will take out my shims here. That one didn't want to come out. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna spin the wheel backwards. I got you guys out of focus here. You can see my calipers, or, or my rotor, I'm sorry, is uh, not even at all. It drags a little bit. Uh, we can play with that. Uh, I like to play with it 
by adjusting the, the barrel adjusters. So yeah, that's uh, basically it. At this point I'm gonna adjust it a little bit more, take it out for a test drive. But yeah, if you wanna see more videos like this, you like what you see, go ahead and throw me a like down below and subscribe. See ya.